Yeah, and that money is not the main motivator. And of course it cannot be. Because what the thing is also with money. In the in nowadays in the modern times in the Western world, money is like the schlagwort. The, the, the word you just push in the holy grail. And how the heck can money be the holy grail, guys? Yes, you can convert money into pretty much everything. I'm saying this like this because of course some things you cannot really buy. Yeah. You might be able to buy sex in some countries. I know in America it's forbidden. You can still buy it in the uh, US, I'm sure. Um, but what you can never buy is sex with love. Yeah, you can just not buy it. It's, it's, <laughs> it's uh, in the definition because um, if you would have sex with love, you wouldn't need to pay for it. Right, okay. And um, now very clever people could say, yeah, yeah, but isn't it the same if you buy big cars and if you, if you buy big uh, fur, man, uh, fur uh, yeah, big jewelry and stuff like this. The thing is, yes, you're right about this. If, if, the, wom if the woman wouldn't be together with you, if you wouldn't have all that stuff, yes, that's probably true. But uh, maybe it's also just that you found each other and you're just wanting to make herself, for example, uh, pleasure and stuff like this. But what I'm, what I'm simply saying is, if you think about what money is, yeah, you, you will probably convert the money back into something. Some people just hoard it, like the loot hoarder. So they just hoard it and they never use it. I mean, that's super silly because you're investing lifetime or you're investing energy or whatever you invest for that and then you hoard it and then you die with it. So that's the very worst <laughs> use of money. But um, let's say you convert it back into doing something with it, maybe also in business-wise or whatever, then it gives you probably back some fulfillment. And you changed a specific amount of time and uh, some, uh, something of um, maybe also some fulfillment because maybe you did something you didn't enjoy that much or you just didn't do it at all and uh, money just came to you naturally. But you can exchange it for more pleasure by doing business or whatever it is. Or you can also uh, exchange this into higher life quality, which means if you have a certain amount of money, you can buy a bigger car, you can buy a bigger house. But what do you, I mean, all these things are also measurable, right? Because you can, you can just, I mean, measurable, not one on one, but you make your li life nicer. The question is only how much nicer, right? So if in order to achieve that money, which you then needed to buy yourself this bigger car, the bigger house, um, makes you a little bit happier, but makes you way more miserable acquiring that money. That's not a very good trade-off, right? So, um, and because we also already, I mean, I can just talk from experience there, but uh, material goods or the accumulation of material goods doesn't necessarily make your life way better. Maybe a little bit, maybe a nice to have here, a nice to have there, but nice to have is really small. I could really not see how these small bits can ever weight against something, uh, um, for example, doing something which you don't enjoy. Doing something which you don't enjoy on a day-to-day -day basis drags you down this much. There's no way at all that, this, that the money gains and the things you can buy with money can ever make up for that. No way. Yeah, just try it. You can also try the next decades if you want. Just use 20 years to find it out. Because this is another thing, right? If you, if you used many decades of your life to try it out, yeah, happy you. Yeah, congratulations. And there are a lot of people like this. There are a lot of people. There, and this is also the thing about the carrot in front of you, in front of the horse. You are never being proven wrong because you never achieve it. So if you're if your belief is that a big house is the dream, is making all dreams come true. And that's very easy to believe because the society makes you believe so. So if you think that the one million dollar house might be the absolute dream become true, what are the chances of you being able to realize it's not? Well, the chances are very slim because you probably, if you're lucky, I mean, maybe, maybe you never achieve it at all, then you can tell it yourself until the deathbed. But maybe you need, whatever, 30, 40 years to accumulate this kind of money. Then you're 70 maybe. And then maybe you buy this $1 million house. And suddenly you realize, whoa, that was full of crap. That was not the fulfillment. It doesn't even do anything to you. 
yeah, no, but yeah, try it out yourself, sure. I mean, absolutely. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Um, yes, for example, never mind it, exactly this. And yes, I can understand that completely. Okay, here again, another guy. Sure. Yeah. And yeah, exactly, yeah. Absolutely. And now you're working in the bakery and it completely fulfills you. Yeah, and I can understand that. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. Well, you can't convert money into time, it's not exactly true. You can convert money into time. You cannot just buy additional years, but you can make a lot of things more effective by not being needed to do certain things. This is not 100%. Mm.